I, I think general, generally the, um, there is a lack of consideration for the person at the centre of the performance. Um, you know, you've got your life in say, athletics or sport and then the life you know, off track, if you like, and it, sometimes they're two different people, but invariably, both of them have to be managed well to get the best result for what you want to achieve. And um, I, I don't think it, there should be more done for the care and well-being of, of sports people. And I think that is an area that needs to be um, looked at greatly. Mm. Um, some people, you know, don't have an issue. But I think it's still good to talk um, and I think you'll find there's a lot of shared experience and there's a lot of shared emotions um, and you're thinking about even retiring. So before you even utter the words, I'm retired or I'm retiring, you know, there's probably six months, a year of thinking and having that feeling nestling inside of you um, that needs to come out and you need to be able to share that. And I definitely, I was on, sort of on my own. And it's the same experience for sports women that are thinking of starting a family. There is no one that, from, in my experience and what happened to me, there was no one sitting there talking to me about the best um, process to start rehabilitating my body to cope with high level sports, having had the trauma of, of childbirth, nobody.